The diagram shows a shaded region inside a large square. The shaded region is divided into small squares. What fraction of the area of the large square is shaded? So first we're going to divide the large square into quarters. And you'll notice that the quarters will be identical as this shape has four, at least two lines of symmetry. So now we take one quarter and then we split it into these small squares. And we want them to be as close to the real thing as possible. And now for the edges that don't have squares, we just connect up the lines that are opposite. Okay, so now that we have this, we can count the number of squares within each of them, within, within the quarter. Mm -hmm. So the whole squares, we have one, three, five, three, and one, which adds up to 13. Half squares, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so it's two inch side. This is including the gray squares. And then the quarters, we have one in each corner. So we have four of them. So in total, the quarter of the square has, so eight divided by two is equal to four. And this four divided by four is equal to one. So it would be 13 plus four plus one, which is equal to 18. So that's how many squares there are within a quarter of the large square. And then now we can count the black squares. So there are five whole squares and two halves, therefore meaning there are six. So the fraction in this quarter would be six over 18, which is equivalent to one third. So one third would be equivalent to the entire square as because this each corner, wait no, each quarter is identical it's going to be the same in each of them. So if we take the whole square, it would still be a third. So the answer is B. Okay, so, so you worked out the, the fraction of the gray to white squares just in one quarter, um, and then said, well, hold on, because each of these quarters are exactly the same. Um, whatever fraction happens in this quarter, it's going to be the same for all of them. Yeah. Um, so you could have multiplied by four, but you'd have to multiply top and bottom by four, which seems a bit pointless because you've already got that fraction already. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice.